Hello, Omar. My name's Ben. Do you mind if I examine your neck? No. Can I ask you to take your top... The patient should have neck and upper thorax exposed and be seated on a chair. This is not how to examine the neck after an injury, and care should be taken if there is another potential cause of instability, such as rheumatoid arthritis. Inspecting from in front and behind, note the posture of the head and neck. Palpate the spinous processes from the occiput to T1. T1 is normally the most prominent. Tell me if it's sore at any stage. Next, feel for tenderness in the paraspinal soft tissues. And then in the supraclavicular fossae, for cervical ribs or enlarged cervical lymph nodes. Feel the structures in the anterior neck, including the thyroid gland. Check active movements. Could you place your chin on your chest, From please? the neutral position, the normal limit is 80 degrees of flexion, with the chin touching the chest. And now look up at the ceiling. In extension, the normal limit is 50 degrees from neutral. Now can you place your right ear on your right shoulder? In lateral flexion, the normal limit is 45 degrees. And the left ear onto the left shoulder. This is measured from the neutral position and is symmetrical, so the total arc is 90 degrees. And now can you turn your head to the right, looking over your right shoulder? This movement is lateral rotation. And do the same on the left-hand side. The normal range is 80 degrees in each direction. If pathology is present, you should also consider passive Thank movements you. and peripheral neurological examination.